Hi guys and welcome back to another video and we've got a lovely day here in Scotland as you can see so let's just jump straight into the video let's get into it play the intro <laughs> video we're gonna do a rundown of what training echoes had from start to where he is now at almost 10 months and then after that we're gonna show a little bit of the Christmas show at the market this week so we pretty much start training the way you would start to train any puppy even as a pet with just simple obedience training inside the house from six weeks on so here's a little clip of that lie down good boy so once we get to grips with obedience training inside the house, we'll take it outside the house into the garden. And then once we get that quite good, we'll start introducing uh, distractions, like having other dogs out, going over to them, getting them to lie down a couple of times and things like that. So introducing uh, distractions slowly. And then we'll start to introduce sheep to that. So we'll go out through walking through a sheep and We'll get him to do his obedience training at the sheep, uh, then recalling him. And at the end, it should look a bit like this. That'll do, good boy. He's a good boy. Good boy. Walk on in. Lie down. Walk on. Walk on, walk on. Lie down, Echo. Lie down. Good boy, walk on, walk on. And the reason we always train the that'll do and the lie down commands first is because they're the commands that are gonna give us the control uh, when we go out and start our proper training. So after we've got that to a point where it's almost perfect, um, we're gonna start letting the pup go and sort of let him shadow other dogs, let him sort of follow other dogs and learn from other dogs. And we're not gonna to expect too much of the pup at this time. We're just gonna watch, we're gonna observe, we're gonna assess what the pup's doing well and what the pup's gonna to need to do when it gets older. And to be honest, no dog trains up the same because they all take to different things better. Hi, down! Come by! Come by! Good girl! Lie down, Storm, lie down. Here, yeah, that'll loot. Wait, I'll oh, wait. Lie down. Come by, easy. Come by. So when we're doing this type of training, we only really want to do it for one or two minutes at a time when the pup is really young. But we're just going to keep doing this for quite a few months and really get build that dog's interest without much expectation or trying to teach the dog too much. You just want it to, to let its natural instincts flourish. And what I learned from this, or one of the biggest points I learned from this is Echo is really confident when pushing sheep or driving sheep as we would say but um, he wasn't so keen on going around the other side he would often stop and not follow the dog now something that's interesting was he was still interested in what was happening telling me that he wanted to go it's just he didn't feel secure enough to go to the opposite side of the sheep from where I was So what we did there was we ran him with a small group of sheep with his storm, his mother, and let her take him round the other side of the sheep, a smaller group of sheep so that it was less daunting for him, and got him moving round the back that way. And then once we get the dog into the habit of doing this, this is when we can really start training in the dog a bit. 
So here's a few clips from earlier training sessions uh, that show what we're doing and then I'll explain it in a minute. Come by. Come by. That, 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 that. Leave it. Leave it. Lie down. Good boy. Are we? Lie down. Are we? Are we? Are we? Are we? No. Shh. Are we? Good boy. Lie down. Come by. Good boy. Are we? Are we? Are we? So what we're doing here is we're using as many basically uh, directional commands as we can. We're sending them from side to side to side to really drill in these commands. And that's why him being on the other side of the sheep is so useful. Because we can literally just keep catapulting them from side to side. And throwing the lie down command in there when we need to. And this is really going to drill home those directional commands. He does rush in a little bit. Uh, he does make a couple of mistakes. But we're not going to focus too much on them at this point. We want to keep things positive. Uh, we want to keep really making him fall in love with Herden. So try not to get frustrated or um, to sort of bog down if something isn't working. Try and keep the momentum going in a positive direction. And so another part of this, when we end these training sessions, we're going to give the dog a lot of praise so that the end of every session is a really positive experience and part of this is we always want to end the herding um, on a positive note and I'll even do this if the dog's struggling to learn something um, I will go back words slightly at the end of the lesson to do something the dog can do really well to give it that positive boost because you always want the dog to associate herding with positivity and you always want the dog to want to keep coming back. So here's how our lesson from earlier on went. Um, I don't get too many chances to train during the week right now. So it's only really a few lessons on from where you would have seen last time. But you'll, you'll get an idea of how he's progressed since then. Are we? Are we? Are we? Are we? Lie down! Aye, 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 aye! Good boy. Come by. Lie down. All right, hi. Shh. Come by. Echo here. No, come by. Well, that was wrong. Here, away. 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 Lie down. Hi. Away. No, away. specific tasks rather than just keeping the sheep towards me but with this type of training game that we are playing constantly bringing the sheep it does allow me to keep giving those commands and cementing those commands in 
And also this week, we took some lambs to the Christmas show at the market. So these are pens of 10 lambs uh, that will be judged and then sold afterwards. Fortunately, we didn't win any prizes, but I did get some footage of the first place champions and the runner up champion going through the ring and being sold and the pen of our lambs going through the ring and being sold. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I'll put the prices that they sell for uh, somewhere on the screen. So even though this might not sound all that exciting, this is the first time we've done any sort of showing and I know this isn't the traditional type of livestock show, it's a market show, uh, but it's still the first time we've been able to do this since uh, lockdown almost two years ago. So that was quite fun, it was a good day out, but I think this is where I'm going to leave the video guys. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. It would be so much appreciated. Um, there's probably not going to be a video next week. But then after that, we're going to do a big Christmas special video. So thanks for watching, guys, and I hope we'll see you again.